We are following breaking news and an incredible update to a story we have been following for the past eight and a half hours now. A man who scaled our 400 foot broadcast tower this morning has just come down safely. And you can see Orlando police are on the scene surrounding that man. Again, he went up that tower at around 11 o'clock this morning and just seconds ago, he finally made his way down to the ground safely. Uh, this is the best ending possible. We are so excited to see him back on the ground safely. Let's check in now with New 6 investigator Mike DeForest, who has also been outside monitoring this situation. Mike, what was the situation of him coming down? What happened? Well, Ginger and Lisa, I mean, this has been going on for, uh, what, eight and a half hours now. At one point, he was all the way at the top of our 400 feet tall broadcast tower for probably the last hour to two hours. He's been in about the 20 to 30 foot range, um, but just taking his time all day. Orlando police uh, crisis negotiators have been talking him down. In fact, in just the last hour or so, they've been very quiet, just kind of giving him his time. Um, he was just standing there, not too high off the ground, but still not completely completely coming down. Um, just we don't know what he was contemplating, but in just the last uh, minute, probably he reached the bottom. It's a little hard to see from the little small shed building there, uh, but several Orlando police officers uh, approached him. He was on the ground uh, as they have been telling him he's not in trouble. Now we can only assume that he will probably be taken for a, a compulsory mental health evaluation under Florida's Baker Act. Uh, police have said they uh, they were familiar with this guy. He had a mental health history. We can only imagine that something with that may have triggered what he did today. But nonetheless, uh, we presume that he will be getting some care now, uh, not any kind of legal trouble necessarily, but just uh, the help after this all day ordeal, eight and a half hours at times climbing this very thin ladder, sometimes while it was raining, sometimes while there were storms in the area. Um, but he came down on his own. This is the ending that these negotiators wanted. Uh, it was a very successful attempt. They didn't put pressure on him, it appeared. They just let him do his thing. And his thing was to eventually come back down. And so right now uh, that man is on the ground. Uh, and in fact, uh, I think we have some video that was uh, uh, recorded just a, a short time ago of him finally coming down uh, from the tower. Are we still hearing Mike? I'm not sure if we've lost yeah, Mike DeForest's. Uh, uh, okay, we lost Mike DeForest's audio there, but we are looking at video that was shot just moments ago of that yeah, man coming down that 400 mm. foot tower. Again, he went up the tower shortly before 11 o'clock this morning, was up at the very top of the tower for much of the day, and then around 5.30 this evening, started slowly making his way down that tower. And we gotta give big credit to the Orange County, or the Orlando Police Department, who have been out there working oh uh, with this situation all day, talking with him so patiently. And if you've listened to the negotiator who has been out there, she has been steady, she has been even, she has been calm, cool, collected. And, you know, we had Trooper Steve on set earlier today, and he was saying there was no rush to resolve this situation because you wanted to have exactly this mm -hmm. outcome. And he says the longer the situation plays out, the better we have for a, a happy ending yeah. like this one. That so. police officer speaking with him throughout the day in both English and Spanish. They thought they knew who he was based on a backpack that he left in our parking lot. They were able to find the name of Alex and try and contact some of his family members, but they worked nonstop throughout the day to bring this to the situation, uh, the positive resolution that we were all looking for. And of course, it's all happening right before the sun's setting. So a yeah, big so sigh of relief. A good time for that to happen. Mike DeForest is still outside our studios with uh, what's happening out out there, Mike. Well, uh, besides the Orlando police officers, there's also been some Orlando firefighters that are approaching him. There's an ambulance nearby here. Um, he has been on this tower for eight and a half hours, sometimes in the blazing sun. We don't believe he brought any food up there with him. So uh, whatever medical uh, or mental condition that may have uh, driven him to do this today, he's probably also just going through some physical issues. Uh, I mean, that was exhausting. That's a 400 foot tall ladder that he climbed up and down several times today. So uh, besides the the mental health that he may need. He's also probably getting physical medical attention. So uh, the good news is uh, he is down after this all ordeal, this day long ordeal, exactly what Orlando police wanted to have happen.